Say you're leaving on a 7.30 train And that you're heading out to Hollywood Girl, you've been giving me that line so many times It kind of gets like Feeling bad looks good That kind of loving Pictures a man To a slave That kind of loving Sends a man right to his grave. I go crazy, crazy, baby. I go crazy. You turn it on, then you're gone. Yeah, you drive. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. So, this week we're doing Crazy by Aerosmith. And yes, it's quite a difficult song to sing with my sort of voice anyway. Normally I play it with a capo. Uh, I'm going to show you with and without, I guess. I'll show you without first, and then with a capo is pretty much the same stuff. Before I get into it, I just want to say, as usual, thank you so much for your comments, requests, and your support. I really appreciate it, guys, okay? And don't forget, you can send me a request over on Instagram or Facebook. And also, if you click the link below to Spotify, I've made a playlist of all the songs, virtually all the songs, I've done lessons for. So check that out as well, all right? Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So this is the type of song, if you've been playing a while and you're good at your open chords, this is a really like cool song to break into bar chords because really there's only kind of two or three bar chords in the in the entire track. So it's pretty much an intermediate track, okay? Um, it starts off, you know, I didn't do it at the start, but he's kind of, you know, talking over um, you know, you drive me up the wall, uh, the way you make good for all the nasty tricks you pulled and that sort of stuff, right? But I didn't really sing that, so I just kind of go straight into it. Say you're leaving on a 7.30 train and that you're heading out to Hollywood. So that's nice and easy there, right? Because you can just sing it. So there's A, D, and we've got F sharp minor. And then D. Uh, if you're listening to the original record, the guitar kind of does this. Okay, so it's kind of got that retro feel about it. And the way you do that is just pluck, strum, and it's kind of like a hard strum, so it's a soft pluck. And then what you want to do is mute it down at the end. Um, so the A, I'm plucking the A note of the A chord, and then D, I'm plucking the D, open D, F sharp, minor, that's F sharp right there, and then D, and I did this kind of at the end of the verse. And that's kind of, you hear the guitar, so I've just... Before we go into the pre-chorus. And all that is, I'm using my third finger on the D string, and I'm sliding from the second fret to the fourth. And then with my first finger, I'm playing the second fret on the G, and then the fourth fret on the G with my third finger. Then I go into the pre-chorus, which is E. So I slightly changed the rhythm up a bit here because you know it's a pre-chorus. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. G. That kind of loving turns a man right to his grave. So 
at the end of that, there's a quick change. So the first time around, E, sorry, E, a kind of F sharp minor, G, D. Happens again, E, F sharp minor, G, and then D, E. So the quick changes at the end, all right? So then we're in the chorus, right? Now I just change it up again, just slightly, and it's more like the verse, but instead of doing this and making it silent, I just open it up a bit, right? So, crazy, crazy, baby, I go crazy. So you can do all downstrokes, okay? And I'm just doing two, so I'm going down, down, letting it ring out. Down, down, quite soft. You turn it on, then you're gone. Down to E, yeah, you drive me crazy, crazy, crazy for you, baby. Now it goes to B minor. sharp minor I feel like the and then it's quick changes Color blue then we're into the second verse backing up the stuff and talking like it's still tough when you're trying to tell me it's time to go um yeah, so I'm just reading off the lyrics here off a sheet I've got. Okay, that's pretty much the song. There's an instrumental section in there. A, F sharp minor, D, D minor. The second time, A, F sharp minor, D, E. And the bridge is going to be... Um, F sharp minor, E, D, and again, F sharp, and it goes, I need your love, honey, yeah, I need your love. Okay, so it's as simple as that. There's a final chorus and that's pretty much it. There's an instrumental at the end, but that's the entire song. But as I mentioned at the beginning, you know, it's a bit of a difficult one to, to sing. So kind of what I do, because I kind of, you know, I sing it low, I sing it in a lower octave. What I can do is try putting the capo on, say, I don't know, the fourth fret and see how that sits with you. Okay, so for me, it'll be something like... Um, Say you're leaving on a 7.30 train and you're heading out to Hollywood. So that's way too high, right? By the time it gets to the chorus, it's going to be way too high. So I'll sing it much lower. And say you're leaving on a 7.30 train and you're heading out to Hollywood. Girl, you've been giving me that line so many times it kind of feels like or gets like feeling bad looks good. So the pre-chorus, that kind of love, that kind of loving turns a man to a slave. That kind of loving sends a man right to his grave. I go crazy, crazy. So that kind of, you know, suits my voice a lot better. And the chords are exactly the same, except I've just put the capo on the fourth fret. And that's primarily what people use capos for in general, okay? And it actually makes the bar chords a little bit easier up here, okay? So, you know, and I, I should imagine for a female vocalist, 
you know, it might be more comfortable to sing up a capo with a capo. All right, so there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want my weekly updates. I do these lessons every single week. Find me over a request on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.